jump over there. When I earlier, right up in that big opening where we were at last night, trying to call him in. Ty and Cody and I think that that bull, that bull that chuckled in our, while we were in our tents, think he went at us. <laughs>
we're packed up it's about noon we're gonna head down this ridge it's about a mile long we're just gonna stay on check off each side we wanted to wait this morning the wind was sucking down that bottom we waited till the sun came out winds coming this way now we're ready to go you ready to go B I've been ready for a while um, shouldn't ask that <laughs> he's been ready for quite some time <laughs> Ty held us up a little bit shenanigans we haven't gotten into elk haven't killed any elk that's just truly not the case we've been in elk every day multiple opportunities i present to you montana what lots of shenanigans guys this is really boring you know if you guys want to check out a good elk hunt you may want to tune into the wyoming series Dear God, thank you that we could be here. Um, 
hanging out with these guys. It's been one of the greatest trips and just thank you so much for um, the times that we've spent together and for the great weather they've actually given us and, and uh, the opportunities that we've had have been just amazing. Please uh, be with our families um, while they're at home and comfort them and keep them safe. And um, I said if it be your will that uh, as the days unfold for the rest of this trip that uh, we find success, more laughs, and uh, safety. Thank you so much, and uh, amen. 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 Thanks, Trev. method here is to wander aimlessly through the woods while Trevor blows his flute and gets us lost and the off chance that we run into a wuppity. At this point, it's a real off chance.
some and you lose some 
both times I've been collar, I've lost some. <laughs> Didn't want to play. Looked like a small bull, young bull.
as it ricocheted off that freaking tree. <sighs> this bull's been giving us, he won't come in. And I finally was able to sneak up to him. I was trying to thread it through a little gap. And I didn't want to mess around with that front shoulder blade. So I was trying to keep it real tight to the tree and I just freaking nicked it. And I think it might have actually slapped him. Uh, thankfully, it didn't hit him, which is good. I'd like to have that. I'd like to have one more shot at that guy. Oh, man, that was close, man. That was close. Trevor, your turn. You did that, dude. It looked so cool. Flying through that little like tunnel. 35 yards. 33, yeah. <laughs> it was just like he stopped right there in that little tunnel. <sighs> like we picked him up that was pretty before he cool. saw us. Took a knee and then he just stood there and was like, "Listen to you guys. Listen to you guys." He did one chuckle series, and then dude, he like perfectly just turned. Oh my God, that just gave me that little tiny window. That was going perfect. Everything was perfect. I even that. saw you like pull back a little bit. That was gonna be That was a great, that, money. the angle was a great shot. That right? was it perfect. Been, it would've been perfect. I did not want to mess with that you, front shoulder. You, well, and the thing is, is he was quartered away. So you if you did hit that. up close to that front shoulder, you've got one more. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I was trying to keep oh, it so heart. close <laughs> to that. We're talking like I mean like, half inch. Half inch, maybe less, I don't know. I'm just happy that it was a clean miss because yeah. we thought that we hit him on the ricochet. Yeah, I thought it might have hit him on the ricochet. Wow. Well, good job, guys. Logan, how'd you feel about it? It was cool. I love the moments when you're that close and you get to like kind of watch it happen. That was really cool. Clean miss, which is good. What is your arrow like? <laughs> We're having a little trouble. What did I tell you earlier today? <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, what, what do you do different? You aim just a little far forward, I guess, and don't hit the tree. But man, if that tree would have been gone, it's a dead bull. That just sucks. He literally hit one inch. 33 yards. Just, just <laughs> open that thing up. Oh, he did just. Uh, here, here hit me. you go. Hit me. Please don't. Well, it's funny is we were just sitting there talking this loud and yeah. eating snacks. And he just cracks off. We've shot at a snack bowl a time or There's two. Been several a snack bowls. bowl. Yeah. Lunch snack bowls. more. It's lunch kind of a lunch bowl. Snack bowls. Yeah. Yeah. Lunch a bowl. Yeah. A lunch a bowl. That case just goes to show you, hunting public land in the great state of Montana on a general tag, in the middle of what we deem nowhere. Sitting down, that bull fired back up, bugling, coming back to where he was. Got his attention. Held it. B Max snuck in and got a shot. And he was that close to killing it. He made a perfect shot. And just he had to hold it super tight to the tree to get in a good quarter angled in. But um, just goes to show when you give up, you're not gonna succeed. And we're just waiting it out and made an opportunity, that's for sure. It is 6.06 .06 p.m. Some clouds moved in, it dropped like 10 degrees in temperature. So we're just working around this flat, or around this face, being a flat. Sound check it for tonight, nothing in it. We'll set up camp, if so, we'll try to go call and kill a bull. Thanks for sticking with us through this crazy ride of Land of the Free 2.0. All right, it's uh, 9.36, just ate dinner. Got crawled in the tents, started raining. Calling it a night. Awesome day today, just came inches like B Mac made the right decision to hug the tree to get a good angle on him, and he hugged the tree. Such is life. So we are um, gonna load up camp in the morning and continue on the shuffle. So thanks for hanging with us on this awesome Montana leg. Nice jacket. It's not warm. It's, no, it's cold over here. Back for another uncut. <laughs>
Oh man. You got the comfy chairs, the squeaky. In the ones. hot seat. In yeah. the hot seat. Guys, let's just quickly, we'll just throw this down and we're gonna address yesterday's comments. Yeah. That people had after yesterday's after yesterday's hunt. I think ah oh, man, how do I start this? Hmm. Honestly reading through, I mean we read all the comments and, and try to respond and engage with everyone. And it was a tough one going through that yesterday and seeing people's thoughts or opinions on it. And Trevor definitely got kind of ripped apart a little bit. And for wrong, right, or indifferent, everyone's entitled to opinion. And I sure. like, like sure. I think it's good that people talk about it, discuss it. It, it is a, a thing that happens. It's not one that we want to portray and definitely the, the, we've talked about this before of the real and rawness of it all. And sometimes we've been kind of holding back from maybe, but we just bring it to you anyway. I mean, we, yeah, we no, bring it out anyway. Like we, concerns we, people think, you know, yeah. oh, we're doing this. We're um, not on the forefront, but our biggest thing, we want to portray hunting in a positive manner. Yes. We and also, it is a blood sport. The concerns of how things happen, you can't anticipate how certain things, I mean, if Trevor would have shot that bull and it died, which we don't think it died, but if it would have died and we would have found it, would have people talked about the shot like they did? That's my, you know, I mean, no. so <laughs> the, the end result affected the prejudgment of what the shot was, should he have taken it or not. And yeah. that's, that's a tough one because ethics are so much like an internal, ter internal deal. It's all each one of us decision to shoot or not to shoot. And I know in the past, Trevor's passed up a lot of shots like that and intend not kill the bull or kill the bull eventually. So I don't know. I mean, the transpires of how that bull came in and it being there, I supported him 100% on it. Yeah, it's a very... <laughs> Sometimes you're darned if you do and darn if you don't. I mean, a little bit as far as, you know, he could have not shot and then all the comments were, you're an idiot, why didn't you take that shot? It was a perfect frontal, da da da, because it was. Trevor's to the right of the camera, so the camera is a little bit more quarter than Trevor was. I mean, for better or for worse, guys, uh, we do appreciate your guys' comments. We do appreciate your guys' engagement and, and you guys watching the series this close. And um, and judgment of it, um, it was just you know we took a little we could we took some shots yesterday. No, and it, shots I mean, were fired. But I, I appreciate everyone's discussion about it. It's not I do a, too. Um, I for do the too. most part, people have been. It's not like there's some angered heat behind it. I guess you know the comments have been yes. a little bit in the discussion format, which is good. I mean that that's bringing light to this. And if we, it's one of those things. If we share a mistake something how it, it end result turns out bad if we learn something and we can help somebody else learn from something that to me is why we why we shared that um, we could have easily cut out that part of the day and there's what it is yeah but that's not who we are and what we're trying to do here so exactly and if it inspired even one person and and they learned anything from it it was worth it yeah and that's, I mean, we have a video, it's called on uh, kind of our take on frontal shots. You guys will put a link in the description. We've done it a lot. We've been successful about it. If you feel comfortable with it, we don't condone it inside, a, a, you know, close inside 25 yards like that. So, yeah, we, we have a video full of information on how that yeah. works. So, All right, next thing. Got that out of the way. Got that out of the way. Let's talk about today's hunt. Today's hunt was awesome. Yeah. It was. It's there is nothing like. I'm just gonna just throw it out there. There's nothing like seeing a lighted knock or a lit knock. Is lighted a word? Lit. lit knock. Anyway, going downrange toward an animal. The tree in the way was a little bit tough to take, but it was just. It was something else to watch that. That was so cool. Yeah, it was so. I felt. Oh, Bmac would work so hard. He did something. You know, we did something we normally don't do. We chased that bull in the morning. Couldn't get on him. Gave up. Moved on got on this other bull and he played cat and mouse. We tried to do the ram bush, didn't work. He, he slipped up out of it. We all sitting there doing the, eating the lunch late in the afternoon, just hanging out. And I think about 15 or 20 minutes gone by since the last time we called and all of a sudden that bull answered on, or bugled just on bugled. his own while we were sitting there, Chinese fire drill. Mac got a salami sandwich, piece of salami hanging from his mouth, grabs his bow and he did the, uh, what, 
the the not the ram bush but the ram sneak i guess probably yeah, yeah. and yeah. he did a stock up on that bull he just kind of sounded off every once in a while him and logan just slipped up the hill we stayed back calling and got an opportunity that mm. most likely i i actually i was in the negative space and i said post there was zero percent chance that that was going to happen oh really yeah i did yeah oh, i talked wow. about it i i just kept the negative i was I, nice. I did not think it was going to be an opportunity. I thought the bull was giving up the ghost and just cruising by. And Anyway, so it was good on BMAC. He did an awesome job there. And Great job. He, he placed the arrow where it needed to be. Oh. It's just... Oh, there was a so, tree right there. There was a tree. <laughs> it wasn't even a tree. It was the bark of the tree. I mean, you yeah. slow it down in slow motion and it just hits the bark just barely. Barely. It's so close. Yeah. But um, awesome hunt nonetheless. It was cool. It was a great day. It started raining on us, so there was a big gap there in the afternoon. But we, we made camp on a beautiful place sitting right under this lake in a granite mountain that uh, you guys get to see a little bit tomorrow. So Tomorrow's another good film. Yeah. I love the one comment we had. is uh, Love... Love Cody waking up in the tent. It's like it's it's like the Blair Witch Project. Is what someone said. I get a little tired of myself. Oh. Seeing myself uh, talk in the morning, tired, slow, drawn out, yawning. I love it. Okay, shout outs. I've got some shout outs. Do you have some? Yep, got a few. All right, go for it, and I'll look mine up as you're going. First shout out, Chris Tomey. First of all, we want to thank you for your service. I know you and your wife are stationed over in Europe, and she's, your wife wrote in and said you watch the show every night even though you're stationed over there. But furthermore, congrats to you and your wife on your baby daughter that just uh, oh. welcomed into the world. So congrats. Sweet. Um, and apparently after he gets out of service, he's moving to Oregon because what we shared about here. So pretty cool to hear that. So, nice. Thanks again, Chris. My shout out goes to Ricky Jones, but more or less his son and his favorite hunting partner, uh, Tristan Lebner. Anyway, uh, just big shout out to you guys and thank you guys for emailing me. That was that was pretty awesome. So, uh, next one is gonna be to uh, Brandon Sadler. Want to wish you a happy birthday coming up here in December. Just your girlfriend wrote in said she's she enjoys your your guys' date nights every night together. They sit down and watch Land of the Free. So. That's awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Um, here's more of a sad one. Uh, these are tough. Uh, this one comes from Preston. DIY Hunter, he's uh, he, on our Facebook, he DM'd us this, and he says, hey guys, I know you guys do shout outs. You probably get a million of these, but my uncle passed this summer, taking his own life at the age of 46. He was a first year retired Sergeant Major in the Marines. He did eight tours, and nobody really knew, but he was unfortunately fighting some problems in his life with stuff that he'd seen in the past and in combat and stuff, and so man, I just, our heart goes out to you guys. He says it would be pretty awesome for my mom and my sister, or my mom and her sister, to see that if you guys could do a shout out for them. So we really, guys, our heart goes out to stuff like this. It just, yeah, yeah it's so hard to, so hard to read and so hard to, to even take in. You guys will be in our thoughts and prayers. Absolutely. Definitely, so. It's interesting. We we actually put up a video this morning um, in the office season, and it just by rights timing and I think greater cause of how mm -hmm. things work out. Um, it's called positivity, living positive in a negative world. And we kind of talk about some of the things that we've experienced. You know, we put out content daily on the internet. Um, there's a lot of people that live in a negative space and want to bring that into your world. And it's sad to see, you know, you know, you have to have a positive attitude at things or else you can get down in these deep, dark places. And, and um, yeah, I just encourage you, if you're fighting something like that, like reach out to people um, that could help you and pull you back into where you need to be. And just uh, having that positive attitude really will uh, help you blossom and grow as a Absolutely. person. So, Absolutely. yeah. One more. One more. Omar Smith. Uh, Omar killed his first archery kill, and it's a nice 4x3, 4x4 blacktail buck. Blacktail. This last weekend. So that's a big feat. That's a huge feat. It's so, a big feat. Omar, congratulations to you. Uh, it's awesome to see that. I know we've got a lifelong bow hunter now. So that's so cool. Fellow brother. So. All right, guys, we're almost late on this video, so we got to cut this up so we can get it up on yeah, time. Yeah, <laughs> we're, yeah. We're gonna see you guys it. tomorrow. See you.